and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time, we liberated Rose Town from the evils of Bowyer and got a new party member, Gino. This time around, we're going to be doing a lot of bonus content. This area we're about to go into, the Pipe Vault, is completely optional. You never have to come here, but there's a whole host of good items you can get from this area itself, and it unlocks an additional optional area. Heading into this first area, we have this uh, lava area. Sorry, a little hiccupy today. And just jumping over these, real simple. Uh, if you land in the fire, however, you get sent all the way back. Now these fireball enemies, you can fight them if you want to, but they don't give that much EXP or coins, and we will be seeing them later anyway, so I'm just gonna bypass them for now. Heading into this area with the Goomba, we just want to jump over him. When you're coming up this staircase, you want to make sure uh, you can get up here before the Thwomp comes back down. If he is uh, coming down while you're on it, you want to be in the air. Heading into this next section, also those Piranha Plants can be fought. Uh, we can now we now go into a string of uh, pipes, and some of these can be entered, like this one right here. Jump here to reveal a hidden yellow block, and on top of this platform, there are a handful of hidden treasures, plus a flower at the end. So we've already gotten a lot of good stuff for coming this way. Uh, now here is a very weird thing where, uh, let me see, I forget how you do this, but uh, this is something that never really comes up in the game. Uh, you have the ability to slide. If I could just remember how to do it. Uh, I should have looked this up. It's been so long since I've done this. I know I've done this before. Uh, hold on a second, I just need to look something up. Oh, okay, there I go. I, I don't know how I did that. Uh, I was just fumbling around like, how do you do the slide again? This is the only time in the game you slide under that. Uh, you slide under a narrow entryway like that. Now, there is another pipe we can go into, but I'm just going to fight one of these piranha... Oh, never mind. Alright, so we got another mini game here. Hey mate, step right up. Ten coins to do some Goomba thumping. How about it? Sure, why not? Now there are a variety of rewards that we can get for this. I actually have not done this minigame in a very long time, and I completely forgot it was here until I was looking some stuff up. Hit as many as you can. As you can. Okay, so what's this? Okay, okay. So it's a, yeah, very standard whack-a-mole game. I was getting the timing all off there. Let's see here. Whoop. And yeah, so it's a pretty simple uh, whack-a-mole game. You just want to hit as many of these Goombas as possible. Uh, the golden ones, of course, give you more points. I'm not having much luck finding the golden ones. Or rather, getting them when they come up. I'm not doing so great at this. Oh, jeez. I'm just all off here. But the reason you want to do this, of course, is because there is a variety of prizes that you can get for getting high scores. So let's see what we got here. So we got 14 points. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, sure, why not? Sure do. Okay, so let's try this for real this time. As many as you can. I'm not sure what the high scores are, actually. Okay, so as long as I'm at least hitting one when it comes up, and I, I need to uh, actually land on these things properly. Sorry I'm fumbling with this. I have not done this in forever. I completely forgot this was here, so this is interesting. This is a new experience for me. If you, if you can't remember doing it, then it's basically new, right? Ooh, there we go. So... I don't even know what the high scores are. Okay, there's 15. Come on. Oh, the, the hit detection on these things is not exactly the smoothest. Okay. 19 points. What do we got here? Alright, I'm going to keep going until I uh, beat the high score eventually. How many coins do I have? Oh, I got plenty to play for a bit, so let me keep trying until I beat a high score. Alright, so I beat a high score, so now uh, we have the opportunity to beat our previous high score and try to get 24 points to get another reward here. And uh, I'm going to do this again for the second reward, because it's pretty good, so let's give this another, ch another shot.
All right, there we go, 24 points. Now when you beat your high score, you want to leave it exactly at the beating point. You do not want to go any further past that. Uh, so that was some thumping. We get our prize, which is a flower jar. So four extra flower points for our efforts there. So pretty good stuff altogether. Uh, but yes, you do want to stop at exactly the point where you would beat your high score because it continually goes up two points every time and you can keep playing it and every time you beat your high score, you'll get a frog coin. But obviously there is an upper limit to how much you can do this. Uh, you will eventually get to a point where you just can't realistically beat your score anymore. Also, since we're not going to see uh, any of these guys for a while, let's fight a piranha plant. These guys are pretty resi- that- oh, uh, that's an enemy I've never seen before actually. Huh? It is wild. I have beaten this game like oh man it has to have been like at least 15 times I played this game so much as a kid that uh, I I'm amazed that there's still like all the stuff that I have not seen before I had no idea there were like camo shy guys in the pipe vault I imagine you get a pretty good reward if you kill them I'll have to look them up later and see uh, what the uh what the payout is for actually killing them if they don't run away. Uh, these guys I'm just taking down with normal physical attacks. They have pretty low physical defense, but they're pretty magic resistant. Jump also does not... Uh, ooh, we got a maple syrup for that. Maple syrup is the next tier of FP recovery item. Restores um, 40 FP altogether. Sorry, I had a bit of a brain fart there. So yeah, pretty good stuff to get there. Alright, heading into here. Watch out for uh, these little uh, nippers in the red pipes. If you get hit by these uh, little nippers in the red pipes, uh, you lose some of your coins, so obviously you want to be careful about that. Just have to jump from the pipes in order to get past them. Here we've got a chest over a floating block, just hit that for a flower. Got so many flower points uh, going into this. Uh, you know what, let's uh, let's use up uh, some of these items here uh, since our inventory is getting a little crowded. Uh, we'll save the flower tab for later in case I need an emergency restore, but otherwise I think we're good there. Uh, this treasure chest would not recommend going for, it just has some coins in it, and you're almost certainly going to fall off if you keep going for it and just lose coins to the little nippers. Now, in Yoster Isle, we are, uh, well, this is Yoster Isle, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Uh, this is a completely optional area, you'd not have to come here at all, and there is another bonus minigame. But on top of that, uh, for something that is a bit more pertinent to, it, pertinent to us, there is a hidden chest behind the save block they're getting another frog coin We're getting a pretty good supply of those at this point uh, 12 coins altogether now let's head into yoster isle heading in here we'll quickly find out that uh mario is not able to commune with the yoshi populace except for this guy over here it's yoshi of the yoshis uh this is the yoshi of course from super mario world mario glad you finally made it to yoster isle home of the mushroom derby say now that you're here we could use your help please talk to a few of my pals here and what, you can't understand them? Well, hop aboard and I'll be your interpreter. Now, uh, let's, uh, once you talk to him, you can jump on him and start running around. Now you can actually communicate with the Yoshis. What? Are you cracked? Racing's my life. I could run all day. Yeah, hello to you too. But, uh, who's this guy over here? He looks pretty unique. What are you looking at? If you want to challenge me, you have to bring cookies. But yes, this is Boshi, the current head honcho of Yoster Isle, and he is not the friendliest Yoshi in the world. It would be so much better if we could all race together. But it looks like uh, Boshi is the one who runs the races, and he's not letting uh, just anyone race. Boshi here is the faster, fastest runner, but he's full of himself. Now, uh, talk to this one over here. Boshi only races one-on-one, -on -one, so everyone can't join us. Bummer. But this guy, hey Yoshi, thinking you beat the old Boshi today? Absolutely. I'll probably take a couple tries, though. Here, take my cookies. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Now that we have cookies, thanks, I've got major support on my side, so I can probably win today. Yoshi got some cookies. We need cookies to race, otherwise Boshi will not even entertain the idea of racing against us. So, you brought the cookies. Alright. Consider yourself lucky today. You've got yourself a race. One on one. Alright, now here comes one of the weirdest minigames in the game that uh, most people tend to struggle with. I know I could never beat this as a kid. Hello again, get ready, the Mushroom Derby is coming up. Want instructions? And we do actually want to take the instructions here. Press A and B alternately along with the rhythm. The tighter the rhythm, the faster you go. So yes, this is a rhythm racing game. Press the Y button during a race to eat, the, eat a cookie. Its energy will help you go faster. Want instructions again? No, but we will get a demonstration here. Let's practice. 
So this is a sort of timekeeping rhythm game where you have to keep your button presses in time with the underlying jump drum track. And if you do it properly with the right rhythm, uh, you will go very, very fast. Now one thing that isn't obvious from this uh, tutorial is that Yoshi will stall out if you uh, lose rhythm and will start hopping in place, which slows you down immensely and will likely cost you the minigame. Now for this, uh, obviously, since you need to be paying attention to the rhythm, I'm going to probably just be silent while I attempt to beat it. You're not getting it right at all. Are you sure you want to do this? It's race time. I think I got this. Don't worry. Now, shall we go to the race? So I'm going to keep silent here and try to keep rhythm. Now, one thing that isn't made obvious in this tutorial is that you get cookies to increase your speed. You have three cookies, and if you lose rhythm, it's a good idea to press the Y button to use one of those cookies and speed yourself up. However, every cookie you use uh, detracts from the reward you get at the end of the race. So be mindful of that. All right, let's see if I can get it. Alright, I got it. Only had to use one cookie because I stalled at the beginning, and I'm pretty bad about stalling at the beginning. I did lose my rhythm towards the middle of the race there, but okay. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah, as a kid playing this on a CRT TV with no headphones, I could not keep up with the music at all, so usually I just had to do my best to get towards the middle of the track, and then just spam the cookie button to win. You just beat Boshi! Starting today, Yoshi is the new boss around here. Since when have you been able to sprint like that? Oh, well, I had my day in the sun. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow. That way, you'll be able to stash away the cookies. But we don't need a boss. Anyway, I just want to race. Come on, Boshi. Let's see what you're made of. Hmm. All right. Just stay out of my way. Oh, here's the cookie stash for the winner. So, for defeating Boshi in the race... Thanks to you, Mario, I finally beat that rascal, and we can all race together now. Here's something to remember me by. Oops. You got a Yoshi cookie. Next time you're in trouble during battle, use this to give me a call. So yes, for uh, clearing the race, we get a very unique item here. We get the Yoshi cookies. For using one of the cookie, we only uh, get three cookies altogether. I believe you get additional ones if you manage to clear the race without uh, using any cookies, but that's a lot easier said than done, obviously. Just one thing I want to draw attention to. Hey there, what's happening? Uh, so we can store cookies now. You don't have any cookies stored right now. For starters, try to store five or more. Hmm, looks like you don't have enough. Next time, remember to bring five or more. So you can store your cookies here. Uh, this is one of the only places in the game where you can store any kind of item uh, if you don't want them in your inventory. Now, what do Yoshi cookies do? If you use them in battle, Yoshi will come in and can convert an enemy into an item that they would normally drop. Uh, this can allow you to get some very valuable items that are otherwise very difficult or uh, expensive to obtain. Namely, it can allow you stuff to obtain stuff like power blasts or crit crystallizers that you would otherwise need to spend a whopping five frog coins to get. So if you are able to consistently beat the race and at least get a few cookies out of it, uh, this is actually a really good way to make sure you have some very valuable items later in the game. I'm probably not going to work around with that too much, but uh, it is there on the table. If you want to race again, you can race uh, Boshi right here and just beat him repeatedly until you have uh, as many cookies as you want. But that's where we're going to leave this. And we'll just leave Yoshi to Yoster Isle. Uh, one interesting thing about Yoster Isle is that it actually uh, updates uh, ever so slightly later in the game. You probably notice those nests with the eggs. Uh, after a point, uh, some of those eggs actually hatch and there's little baby Yoshis. I'm not exactly sure what determines when that happens. But now we're in the next major area of the game, Moleville. And I actually need to take a look. Okay, we do have a good amount of coins, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to buy everything I want to. So let's talk uh, here. Dino went to the mountain with little might. But a star crashed in the mountain, and now they'd be trapped. Hmm, so it looks like we've got a bit of an issue here. Uh, some children have gone missing in the mountain. But they also mentioned a star. Uh, keep this bucket in mind for later. It'll uh, become important after a point. Well, not important, but you can do something with it. 
It's an emergency! Dino's trapped in the mines! Ooh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Come on in, don't be shy. Everyone's up on the mountain, but I'm stuck in the store. So what you need? So here is the item shop, and we have a whole bunch of uh, new uh, pieces of equipment that we can buy. We can buy a new weapon for Mario, the Punch Glove, a new weapon for Mallow, Symbols, and we can buy upgraded uh, shirts, capes, or pants. But what you actually want to buy is three sets of work pants. And actually, I'm going to buy a fourth one. Uh, work pants is a unique armor piece. It is equipable by everyone in the game. And while it doesn't give you much in the way of magic defense, it boosts all your other stats uh, by uh, 10, in addition to the defense bonus that it gives. So uh, plus 10 magic attack, plus 10 physical attack, and uh, it also boosts your speed by 5. So it is a very, very good piece of armor. And while it will eventually fall off for most of the characters, there is one character in the game who, pretty infamously, this is his best piece of armor in the game, and we just got it at the midway point. If you did not get the free finger shot for Gino, you can now purchase it here, but obviously we don't really need it since we got a free one. That took all our coins to do. Uh, it's a good idea to periodically uh, clear out your uh, weapon inventory. There's only a handful of things that are really worth hanging on to. The primary ones being your accessories, which I haven't equipped my jump shoes there. We want as much attack power and speed on Mario as possible, so we'll uh, give him those back. Won't get as much defense, but we got better armor anyway, so we're completely fine there. Uh, also, uh, you probably noticed, at this point we can buy mid mushrooms and maple syrups. Maple syrups we already got one of, and they re recover 40 flower points. They're the most, uh, at this point, these are, or well, for most of the game, uh, this is the best and most reliable FP healing item you can get. That's pretty good, honestly. Uh, your FP cap is 99, so it's only, it recovers a little less than half of that, and it always gives you enough for at least a couple skills, especially if you're using something cheap like jump. Uh, mid mushrooms are uh, exactly what they say on the tin. They are middle tier tier healing items, restoring 80 HP, which is a lot more than what any of our characters have at this point, so we don't really need it, so I'll just ignore that for right now. But let's head around and just uh, check out everything there is to see in Moleville. There is another important thing that you can do here after a certain point, or rather an important thing you can learn. A pretty star crashing down into the mountain. I just wanted to see it, but Mama told me it was too dangerous. Ma said she'd go and find out what's happening, but she's sure taking her sweet time. Alright, so all the kids are in a panic. There is another scene that we can see off to the right here. Hey, that sounds familiar. Looks like uh, Bowser's having another meeting of the army, but it uh, looks like his forces have pared down a little bit. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you! I'm the biggest, baddest brute around, and don't you forget it. But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined! Even I have an image to keep up, you know. Let's show him who's the boss around here. <laughs> this is the game that sort of established the more comedic aspects of Bowser as a villain, definitely making him all out to be a lot more self-conscious than you'd ever realize uh, from the main platforming games where he's pretty much just a mindless monster. A star dropped in the mountain and trapped some kids inside. Make things worse, one of the menfolk be stuck inside too. Please, Mario, you gotta help us. What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. Let's see if we can't get up here and see what's going on. So it looks like this lady over here is just trying to uh, peck in a way into the mountain. The men folk are doing their best from the inside. I'm digging from the outside. We got to help them folks out. Alright, that's nice. Now let's actually go into the mine proper. Oh dear, I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how you're feeling, but moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. Looks like uh, she's unfortunately been uh, driven off by that comment. That's what I told her, but I don't know if I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See that up there? That's the old entrance to the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow... Uh, Mario were here. He could reach that in a heartbeat. What? We'll speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle. If it ain't him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. 
Mario, have you heard the news? Absolutely, we've been uh, hearing the word around town. Oh, of course we'll help. Besides, there's a star here, we gotta get that too. Alright, so these guys will allow us to hop on their shoulders and get up into the mine proper. There we go. Bunch of new enemies to find here. So here we've got, ooh, a uh, nice suite of uh, enemies. The Magmites here. These guys are resistant to physical attacks, but they're reasonably vulnerable to magic. The Bombs are more uh, vulnerable to physical attacks, pretty resistant to magic. Uh, Sparkies are especially resistant to magic, but very vulnerable to physical attacks. So we can take these guys out no problem. Oh, whoops. Uh, I forgot what my, uh, I forgot I just upgraded my weapon, so I wasn't used to the different animation. Uh, that's kind of the problem with everything having a unique animation. Uh, be careful about the bob bombs They can run up to you and explode, and that does a pretty nasty amount of damage if you get hit by it. Let's see if we can't find any more of the uh, enemies here. Oh, actually, uh, I wasn't intending that, uh, but this is our first time getting a Lucky Flower, so uh, let's check this out. So, Lucky Flower causes a unique modification to the end of battle results. You get to play a minigame to double either your coins or your experience. If you win, or if you win you'll get double. If you get a tie, you won't lose anything. If you lose, you will lose it all. And we lost. Fortunately, it was just our coins, so I'm not too burned by that. Uh, there is a way to force a Lucky uh, in battle, so uh, that's something that we'll go over when we have the opportunity to do it. Let's see if we can't get the other enemies here. Okay, this is uh, the guy I was looking for, the Cluster. Be very careful of the Cluster. The Cluster can one-hit kill a character. One of the first enemies we can come across that has an insta-kill attack, so good idea to start stocking pick-me-ups at this point if you haven't already. We've got plenty in the inventory though, so uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I'm not going to use any of my Yoshi cookies at this point, because uh, I know that the stuff that are actually worth using Yoshi cookies on are available much later in the game. Sweet, Mallow's got a level up. We'll give him a little bit more magic punch. And hey, who's this guy over here? Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm going to sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. Good to have goals, my friend. Keep this guy in mind for later. Alright, hey, a trampoline! Let's check it out! Oh dear. Mm, I probably should have thought a little harder about that. Hey, it's Croco! Coins, beautiful coins. Grab the coins! Hey, I just got that from selling all my equipment. Listen up, let's leave this half with Mario and split. Anyone got beat with that? So rude. Sorry, sorry, I think I just belched in the microphone. That was unfortunate. Oh no, he took the coins. Chase Croco and get those coins back. So yes, all of our coins have been stolen. We gotta chase Croco down and get those back. Oh boy, looks like a dead end here. But not to worry. <laughs> I got a bomb. Never leave home without him. Oh, goodness. Uh, that thing packs quite a punch. It's like the bob -omb in the Super Mario Brothers movie. But we still gotta get after them. Alright, come on. And it blows it open. So if you were trying to go in the circuit before, you would find that you have nothing but dead ends. Now we have to chase Croco down. He's not very good at escaping, so he's just gonna be looping repeatedly. But there's another thing we can do. So we'll come across uh, his various companions here, and let's see if uh, Mallow's fast enough to go before these guys, and he is! So these guys, now that we're faster than them, very easy to take out. Uh, we can hit him with Thunder, Mallow with uh, all the magic I've been dumping into him, plus the Work Pants boost. Does just enough damage to kill all these guys. As you can see, we get a very sweet 30 coins from these guys. Also get a level up here. Alright, so uh, we want to take HP on this one, because we just had a level that was a multiple of 3. Ditto for Gino here, and Gino gets a pretty good HP boost, so now he's a lot more durable. Uh, just you wait, we'll get you for this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. And he didn't have the coins, but he dropped a flower tab. Each and every one of these uh, flunkies gives you a flower tab, and they have a chance to drop their items, plus you get the coins and the experience for killing them. So you'd do well to chase all these guys down, like here. For our efforts, just you wait. <laughs> and they all give you the same empty threat. Hey, Croco. And another flower tab. You may have remembered that there were three altogether, so one more to take out here. Alright, buddy, give me your sob story. And then, cough up the flower tab. Sweet, we're, uh, we're doing good on flower tabs, so let's give ourselves a quick boost here. 
And now, Krako is traveling around the circuit in real time, so if we start going in reverse, we can meet up with him and catch him from the front. Like so- Oh, I am such an idiot, I just jumped over him. Sorry, twitchy thumb. But uh, yes, yeah, so you do have to uh, try and catch him by going uh, in reverse. Uh, he moves way too fast. Oh, did I? There he is. He moves way too fast to catch him up normally. I was just waiting for him and he didn't show up. All right, so Krako is now resistant to uh, fire attacks. So you want to stick to using jumps to uh, damage him. Fire will not cut it anymore. Let's check out uh, Mallow's new symbols. As you can see, pretty fancy attack there. They come together, you get the uh, timed hit. Uh, you do want to make sure to keep up on your healing here. Now, because we have the boost from the work pants, we are uh, faster than Croco across the board, which is pretty nice for us. You want them back? You've got to take me down first. Oh no, what? Ah, oh, he just took all our items. Yes, if you do enough damage to Croco, he eventually takes your items. So now we only have Mallow's HP rain to rely on for healing. Very good idea to make sure you're at full FP before getting into this fight, or you will absolutely regret it. But uh, yeah, we'll just have Mal Mallow focus on healing. Uh, I was going to have him use a mushroom just because I knew I was going to lose those, but uh, eh, here's to the could have beens. Fortunately, once you get him down to uh, this point, uh, he actually that's like the halfway point for his health, so I'm not overly concerned about this fight going on for too long. We've got so much damage between the work pants and just how much I've been wor working on jump that this should not be too much of an issue. Now he'll start throwing enemies at us. Some of these can actually hit pretty hard, but it's nothing to be too overly concerned about. Uh, I think the most damaging thing he can throw at you is a bomb, which can deal around 30 damage, uh, depending on who it hits. Okay, another chomp coming in. Yes, okay. And yeah, the since it's technically a physical attack, you can time defense it. Yeah, ouch! Enough already! Here's your junk. I'm out of here. So, we get our items and our coins back. Pretty sweet haul. Or I, I guess it would be a sweet haul if, you know, it wasn't all our stuff. And he drops uh, another 50 coins. And we got a bomb. Hey, nice stuff. Now, what can we do with that bomb? I'm just taking a look. Uh, okay, 307 coins. Not too bad. Not too bad. What can we do with that bomb? Well, if we head over here, we'll find... Palm all. Seems like you found something mighty useful. My kids, Dinah and Mite are trapped back there. Let's blast through and find them. Whoa! Thanks, Mario. Now stand back and let me get things going. Alright, good work. Let's follow the tracks to the end. What? The star? It's probably in the back. Thanks a million, Mario. Let's mosey along now. Eh, I guess you're right. That'd just be a burden on you fellas. Well then, I'm counting on you. To find the kids, you hear? <laughs> Sorry, awkward line break there. Well, thanks a lot, Mario. Guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. Alright, let's continue on. We could use a save point at uh, some point. Uh, let's go this way first uh, for a little bonus scene. If you try to go this way, uh, you will instead uh, have a very unfortunate encounter with a minecart. But for doing this, uh, it permanently blocks off that door, but you do get a frog coin, so good stuff there. Could always use more of those. Here we got uh, ba bombs coming through, but we also got a superstar. Been a while since we got one of these, so we get a bunch of free EXP. Always appreciative when that happens. See if I can't just get a couple more. Nope. Ah, ran out on me. Let's uh, get some of these coins here. All right, that's enough. All right, so more bombs here. We'll just jump over them, and there's a save point. Got a recovery mushroom here, and a couple more treasures to get. Let's just uh, get this one if I can. Yes, there we go. Get a flower for our efforts. All right, but I think that's uh, this video's gone on long enough. We accomplished a lot in this video. So, uh, I I'm pleased with that. Sorry for my fumbling with the Goomba thumping. I had legitimately forgotten that minigame was in this game, so it, it was like I had never played it when uh, approaching it again. And the guide I was reading from did not have the high score listed, so I didn't even know what I was going for. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Until then, though, goodbye.